Tonight, we know a deputy remains in critical condition more than 24 hours after that shooting in Carroll County. Investigator Taylor Bristow was shot while executing a child exploitation warrant Tuesday morning, and his family tells us he is in a medically induced coma in the ICU. They're continuing to ask for prayers. And tonight, the community is working to step up to support the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. That's right, 11 Alive's Kara Spelger is live in Carroll County tonight. So, Karis, we know that you've been speaking with people in the community all day. We can only imagine the pain that they are going through. How are they dealing with what happened? Well, they are, of course, sending their prayers to investigator Bristow and his family. They are also trying to lend a hand wherever and whenever they can. In fact, the owner of this restaurant just behind me, Billy Bob's Barbecue, said he decided to step up in the only way he knew how. Well, we've been here since 1997. Um, my dad and I opened it up back in back then and um, been here almost 27 years. Dishing up comfort is Bill Green's specialty. Water. Even more so, he says, when his community is facing tragedy. So when things like this happen, we just jump into action and uh, want, to, want to take care of our officers. At his family eatery, his wife and staff took special care, preparing meals for Carroll County deputies as they tried to cope. Tuesday morning, investigator Taylor Bristow was shot in the head, according to the sheriff's office and GBI, while executing a child exploitation search warrant at a home. He remains in critical condition at Grady Hospital. The suspect in the case is dead, but investigators haven't released any specifics. Bill says when he learned what happened, he decided it was his turn to serve. We heard when we heard the story, um, we um, you know I, I jumped in the action. I took, when, when when lunch started, I said we're going to take some food over to the department. So we took over barbecue pork. Um, we took over some Brunswick stew and some coleslaw and some uh, sweet tea. Carroll County Sheriff Public Information Officer Ashley Holsey says they did more than fill bellies. Or when you go through a traumatic event like that, where one of your own is shot, they're going to have some issues to work through too. So the community really has already started coming together. Even though we have 126,000 people who live here, it sounds really long. Large, right? It really is a close, close knit community. Everybody cares about everybody. But for Bill, the ultimate reward will be seeing the sheriff's office become whole. We just really hope he pulls through, um, makes a recovery so he can come home to his family. And just before we came on air, we received a statement from investigator Bristow's wife. I'm just going to read a little bit of it here for you. She says, we are fighting the good fight and appreciate every little and big thing. It does not go without notice. I want to mention there's a fundraising page that's also been set up to help investigator Bristow and his family at this time. We do have a link to that right now on 11alive.com in Carroll County, Karis Belger, 11alive news.